What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic and we're back with another simple yet epic remake of a creation that we did a long time ago. I think only in a stream because couldn't really get it working properly and that is this creation right here. Now you're probably wondering what this is but of course you've read the title of the video and it is in fact a speedometer. So before the mod pack came out with all the number logic we tried making a speedometer before and really simply what we were doing was measuring the time it would take for an object to go between two points. So an object would go between let's say a sensor at 50 block range and a sensor at 100 block range and we would measure the total time it would take for the object to go between 150 blocks and then doing some math we could say okay the object is going this fast but it doesn't really work for two reasons. One, it, it requires the object to actually cross a full distance. And two, the measuring of time with the old school logic is just this massively large circuit and it's really a pain. So this speedometer works on a completely different principle, but it's just as effective and it's only really possible with the distance sensor and the number logic. And really simply, what this thing does, it's a tiny little circuit, but it creates a tick generator that goes back and forth and pulses at as fast as it possibly can. And then it measures the distance that a person travels through this one sensor within that pulse time. So if we turn it on, you'll see it'll actually start pulsing back and forth and you can see one button on either side. And what it's doing is it's writing the distance from this sensor into this memory and then this memory and alternating back and forth. And then it's doing some math on it to figure out what the resulting difference in distance is and then multiplying it by 20 to give us our total speed of blocks per second. I believe so you can see here we have a speed of zero that's because the measurement on this distance sensor hasn't changed and if we go in front of it you can see it's still zero but now as we walk backwards it'll actually give us a speed eight nine eight nine and then negative in the opposite direction and that's really cool and if we run it should go faster so let's get back here you can see up to negative 16 and really to calibrate it just to show you guys that it actually works properly I actually created a whole other version of it right here which has a little piston attachment piece on it. So I'll upload this version to the workshop in case you guys are curious, want to spot it for yourselves and take a look. But really simply, this sensor is going to measure this block distance here as it moves in and out on this piston. You know what? We should probably weld that. There we go. Perfect. So it'll measure basically against this concrete piece. And you can see we've also got a speed XO meter here from the mod pack. So the mod pack, of course, using the speed XO meter, you can mount that on any creation. And any creation you want to measure its own speed of, you can just use that. But this is more like a police radar gun, and that's exactly what we've done with it over there. So if we come around back here, we can turn on the radar speed measuring device, and then we've got this sensor now perfectly measuring that. And this was really to calibrate the multiplication factor. So all we're doing is we're subtracting the two distances and then multiplying it by 40, which gives us back from a distance per one tick to a distance over a total of one second, which I believe is how these measurements work. So really simply, if we activate the switch now, we'll retract the pistons and we should see the speed that's on the bottom, which is mounted to that piston, line up pretty close to the speed on the radar gun at the top. So if we hit that switch, you can see negative 67. It's very fast. 67, 68, 67, 68. So we can actually slow down the piston speeds and uh, just see that it calibrates. So I did try this at a bunch of different speeds just to make sure the calibration stays constant and you can see that's actually negative six blocks per second and six blocks per second. Now, the negative is, of course, because it's going in one direction. If it's moving away, it's positive. If it's moving towards the object, it's negative. This doesn't really matter because when we actually take the radar gun and mount it into a police vehicle, then we just put an absolute value on it and say, you know, however fast the speed is. So really simply, we've now got this epic radar speedometer, which is really, really accurate and it's really awesome. And we can use this for all sorts of different creations. So I will upload this to the workshop in case you're curious. Uh, you only really need this small circuit in here and you have to hook it up using a few different connections. But uh, it's a pretty simple circuit. You can take a look at it. But of course, I will upload the better version of it, which is mounting that entire circuit into an AI police car. So these are the AI police cars we've used in a few different episodes for various things. Now this one originally used just the Intelligentia mod to detect when a player was within a certain distance to it. So the cop would automatically chase you no matter what, if you were close enough to it, it would just go right after you and that was it. We've taken all that out and instead we've mounted a radar gun right on the hood here, kind of right in the middle in a little bit ridiculous position. And of course, it's got the Intelligentia mod on it and the entire circuit, this is just a mess, but the entire circuit you can see is back down in here for the speedometer. So it of course controls the Intelligentia mod 
on the radar gun and it measures the distance off that and right now i believe this cop is calibrated for 50 blocks per second so if you go faster than 50 it'll start chasing you and of course with the intelligentia mod it can see you pretty much across the whole map i don't know what the range on the distance sensor is so there's all these remote control blocks on the back here we don't actually need any of them i just wanted to use these just to show you guys some of the calibration stuff when i was setting this up it's a little bit difficult to you know see what's happening on the ai when you're trying to have it measure a different vehicle so of course we'll remove all that and actually before the end of the episode we'll put a little number display so you can change what speed this cop activates at so when you have it on the workshop you can download it and you can change the speed on the back so you can have it set at 100 blocks 50 blocks 10 blocks whatever you want so we'll just put him over here for now now it is really important when you're spawning him that you watch where this radar is pointed because the thing is it uses distance over a certain period of time so if this turret is rotating and it sees its own body of its cop car here for example then all of a sudden when it goes from seeing this little corner piece to like the terrain over there it thinks that you've jumped from this position to that position really really quickly and of course it'll basically trigger on itself so you kind of want this aiming in the direction that your vehicle is going to be you know driving in so that it picks up your vehicle and it does you know that perfect tracking now of course if you drive behind an object like a rock or a pipe or something the same thing might happen where it sees a giant change in distance over a very small amount of time and takes off really simply in the back we've got two buttons we've got the red reset button that just resets all the circuits uh, but only if the switch is off and then of course we turn on the switch It's got a 10 second delay before it turns on the AI to start moving the turret And then it's got an additional five second delay before it actually starts measuring the speed on the turret And that's just to kind of help with some of the fact that the turret is going to pick up You know rocks and trees and stuff as it's moving to the initial position But you do have to be very careful because you see Because see what happened there is it just actually picked up the front edge of the car So it saw us jumping from this position to the very front of the car in about one tick and because of that it said man you just moved extremely quickly even though really it's just the sensor moving so i definitely have to work on that i think this is a great prototype obviously it's got the radar gun mounted to it but really i just sort of slapped the radar on top of an ai that wasn't really meant for it so i think i'll definitely have to go back and remake a better version of this but regardless let's see if we can actually get it to chase us now all these remote control blocks are actually just outputting the information from the police car so i could actually sort of monitor it so you can see here on the top of this we've got all sorts of stuff but the red at the very bottom that 1470 is the current distance that the sensor's picking up you can see so now it's got us at 30 and you can see the big jumps it goes from 140 down to 30 instantly and then on the other side we've got purple which lets us know the ai is active orange which lets us know that it's actually picked us up going faster than normal the speed there next to the XO meter is our speed and then the blue the one in the middle that's the speed that the cop is measuring us at so you can see it's kind of pulsing around zero but purple lets us know the ai is on and then of course when that orange picks up then we've gone faster than the 50 and it'll start activating now of course if the distance sensor jumps a huge distance then uh, it'll do it so let's just crawl away here you can see it's measuring us moving relatively slowly now it shows us as negative but that doesn't matter because of course as the cop will take the absolute value of that so if it's negative it'll just make it positive so it's as long as it's 50 or negative 50 and um we'll just keep crawling away here but of course if we go fast enough there we go 50 now the cop is after us and uh, it'll start chasing us so it is a little bit finicky of course with the with the ai cop now once it's activated it won't ever deactivate there's nothing that stops it of course its own speed is faster than 50 so as uh, stuck in a tree get stuck on a tree they're of course better on a flat map but it is a little finicky of course with the distance sensor the fact that it's measuring you know objects like rocks and trees and stuff like that rather than just measuring the vehicle itself makes it a little bit more difficult i believe there's a way you can use a type of sensor to make sure it's picking up an, a person or something but i'm not exactly sure about that again this was more of just a prototype build i got a comment the other day where it was like could you remake the speedometer using number logic and that really got me thinking about it and uh, I thought, you know what, that's a really cool project. And then, of course, once we made the speedometer, I said, got to mount it to the AI cop, even though it's not exactly the best thing in the world. So we're just going to keep crawling away here. Of course, that thing is active. You know, what? We're, it's fine. You don't, we're not. Oh, no, no, no. It must have, it must have sensed something different. Dang it. Again, like I said, sometimes it does pick up, you know, its own movement. I did, of course, mount the radar with an Intelligentia mod turret so that it could actually, you know, always look towards the player. But in doing that, you, of course, make the fact that the radar moving itself could pick up its own speed and then, of course, pick up the car. So I'd love to hear what you guys think of this build in the comments down below. And, uh, of course, I will be uploading it to the workshop. We'll change it around. Let's see if we can actually sneak past the cop here without it, uh, without it getting us. So 
We'll just wait until it's activated, and then we'll just try and see if we can sneak all the way away from it here, of course, until it picks up terrain or something. So there we go. It's active. All right, let's just let's just be sneaky. Super sneaky. Super sneaky. As long as the cop still sees the car, it shouldn't see any big change in distance. All right, perfect. I will, I think, remake this whole cop car, though. I definitely want to make a better version of it with a radar gun. I think the best way to do it is to probably have multiple radar guns that coordinate the signals with each other. So it's not just one. You have two that have to confirm that there's a huge change in distance. But I got to figure out how to avoid the terrain assets first. I mean, oh, see, we just jumped up to like negative 1600 in speed there. So the distance sensor must have gone off of us and somehow looked at the terrain behind us. And, you know, there's nothing you can really do about it. That obviously we didn't go 1600 blocks per second. But uh, it's a little bit difficult. Yeah, ha, sucks to be you, cop. Oh, no. Oh, wait. He got off. Dang it. But it is something that I definitely want to figure out. And, uh, of course, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comments down below. I still think it's a great build. And, of course, the speedometer itself is just such a cool idea to have in Scrap Mechanic. I think it's a cool build. And, of course, we'll just convert this over here to make it workshop friendly and add in that number section in the back. So we'll just take some number logic here and some buttons. And we'll delete all these remote controls, the debugging, because we don't need any of that. And we will put our numbers in here. There we go. We've got two buttons here. Perfect. And we'll make one of them brown and one orange. That makes up and down. And they are actually hooked right into this. This is the counter for the speed. I do remember. And this should give us our value of 50 blocks per second. And now we can change the speed limit. So we can make it 60, 70, 80, whatever we want. And uh, I will leave that up to you guys. But of course, I will upload this to the workshop as the AI police car with the speed radar gun. There is no way to trigger it other than the radar gun. So you have to turn it on, wait for about 15 seconds for it to start tracking. And uh, that just gives you time to, you know, get set up or whatever. Or if you want to put these around a course or something. Of course, you got to watch out for the fact that, you know, this turret moving itself, you can see it's tracking us. But uh, now I bet you if I drop behind it here, it'll think that we went really, really fast. Oh, no, maybe it didn't. What about now it did see because it sees its own little cop body and then it comes off the body and sees us at a distance of like 30 blocks away from it from two so definitely a prototype i definitely want to improve it and i definitely want to hear what your guys thoughts are on this build how do you think we can improve it uh what do you think we should do with the radar gun i mean obviously the exo meter that's directly in the mod pack really easy to mount to your own creation to measure your own speed but what do you guys think we can do with the radar gun let me know in the comments down below and while you're at it hit that like button hit the subscribe button and as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see y'all next time.